Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting algebra question, tricky algebra question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 20 plus 20 divided by 2 and minus 6. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. However, many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do this without a calculator, write your answer down into the comment section, write your solution down into the comment section real quick. Right here we have three options, option A, option B and option C. So right now choose one option what do you think is the correct answer option a option b or option c and write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answer just trust me this is a very very tricky question so a lot of students might be saying okay this is a very basic question we have basic addition division subtraction so it's not that hard and to be honest a lot of students start with this thing they say okay 20 plus 20 equal to so they go just in a strict order from left to right they say okay 20 plus 20 equal to 40 the next thing we have division by 2 and minus 6 so they go uh, from left side to right side once more so 40 divided by 2 equal to equal to 20 and 20 minus 6 equal to equal to 14 so a lot of students solve this question like that they say okay 14 is a correct answer from left to right and we don't care about order of operation but in terms of math it's really great to know about a correct principle correct algorithm how can we solve this question so we can solve this question absolutely randomly just from left to right from right to left or from middle to right yeah we need to go what is the correct we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem and right now let's keep in mind this 14 okay this is our answer but right now let's look closely how can we solve this question correct according to a correct math math algorithm because right now we need to know how can we order addition division and subtraction we need to know what it what what elements had the higher priority so we need to order all of this stuff which is extremely important thing in terms of math so let's look closely at this next part uh, to this question so here's our order of operation and right now each of these letters stands for something so it means that we go from left side to right side because we're talking about priority the first really important thing so on the left side on this side we have higher priority on the right side we have we have lower priority and right now let's look closely at this PEMDAS this is not an English word this is like a, a checklist so each of these letters stands for something and you know a lot of students use the thing which is called bottomless order of operation which is absolutely the same thing as before so each of these letters stands for the same thing at the, at the pandas okay so we can easily erase all of this stuff it just depending on what country you live in for example bottomless mainly used in in india in the uk pandas mainly used in europe in the U, in the usa in canada and a lot of a lot of other countries but i will use pandas because this is absolutely the theme the same thing in our case okay so each of these letters stands for something as i told before and then right now i'm going to explain you a few few words about this pandas and we're going to apply this PEMDAS to our question. So the first thing is parentheses. I'm going to start with this because parentheses has the highest priority. Parentheses, we are talking about this type of brackets, this type of squiggly brackets. And this type of bracket so we're talking about group and symbol and right now let's scan where do we have this group and symbol in our question let's look at it i don't see any of those we don't have any parentheses so something like that we don't have it so we can actually mm, skip this part we don't have parentheses let's go to the next step the next step is e e stands for exponents and a lot of students are confused to what does it mean exponents this is basic power so just look at it so for example we have 2 to the power 3 we need to rate this 2 to the power 3 we have for example 3 to the power 10 we need to rate this and right now let's let's scan our question in terms of like uh, powers let's look at it so right here we don't have it we have right here uh, maybe we can have, have four but we don't have it so we can actually skip this part we don't have parents we don't have uh, powers we don't have cubes we don't have squares yeah we have a basic regular expression without any exponents okay so let's go to the next step the next step is multiplication and division group so let me change my pen real quick because this is the step we really need we exactly really need so this is our multiplication and division group this is one common group because multiplication and division are tied for priority and, and important so m stands for multiplication d stands for division and here's the tricky move because a lot of students think that multiplication first then division but it's not work like that for example we have two times three divided by five and we have 2 divided by 3 times 5. So two completely the same expressions in terms of constant, but with different order of signs. Yeah, we have right here multiplication division and right here division multiplication. And how it works? It works in the next way. We need to scan what is the first sign from left to right, because whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to scan it in a strict order from left to right. Okay, so the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to multiply 2 times 3. And right here, the first sign is division. So we need to divide 2 divided by 3. Okay, so doesn't matter division multiplication mixture multiplication division 
we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And for better understanding, you can easily in your head put right here imaginary brackets only in your head that you need to start with this. Okay, and I'm not talking about implicit multiplication. I'm talking about basic PEMDAS order of operation. I'm talking about basic one. Okay, so right now let's scan where do we have multiplication, division, signs, and have a question. Let's look at it. Where do we have it? So we have multiplication. So let me change my pen real quick for red one, uh, for green one. Yeah, so we have right here um, multiplication. Let's scan where do we have it. We don't have multiplication sign. We have only division sign. So let me just cancel this multiplication. We don't have it. But where do we have a division? Where do we have it? So let's look closely. Division we have right here. Okay, division we have right here. And right now it's an extremely important moment because it means that we should perform division at first. Our first step is to perform division. So let's do this right now. So we have 20 uh, plus 20 divided by 2 equal to 10. And we have minus, uh, minus 6. All right. And so as you can see, we complete this step. And the last step in our question is addition and subtraction. So A stands for addition. S stand for, for subtraction. And to be honest, at this point, at this moment, you don't need this order of operation anymore because at this point, for example, you have mm, 2 plus 3 minus 1. You, you, don't, you don't need this order of operation anymore because this is very basic stuff, you know. You can easily do this without uh, order of operation. Yeah, so we can easily do this without this thing. So we can easily uh, understand few words about it. So right here in our question, we have addition. And we have subtraction. Yeah, we have it, but we don't need this order of operation anymore. The main thing, the key moment right here, I'm going to show you uh, this moment right now, because in from this, among these all uh, mathematical operators, we have right here only division, addition, and subtraction. So we have D, division, addition, and subtraction. So this is like, like ending of our word. And if you look closely, Division is the first sign, so division is before addition. So it means that every time you need to perform division first and in conclusion, addition and subtraction. So division multiplication is all the time before addition and subtraction. Okay, so multiplication division first, and then addition and subtraction. So let me just solve this question real quick. So we have 30, yeah, we have from left to right 30 minus 6 equal to equal to 24 and this is our correct answer according to PEMDAS and uh, PEMDAS order of mm, order of operation and right now let's look closely in the beginning where do we have this and this answer this option we have 24 let's look at it but in our question we don't have this 24 and it turns into a big argument a lot of students think uh, how is it possible maybe correct answer is 14 because we don't have 24 right here we have a 14 basically from left to right we can easily uh, solve this question like that we can easily find this uh, for 14 in our question, but to be honest, if you look closely, 14 is a wrong answer. And right now I'm going to explain you why 14 is a wrong answer. So, uh, but let me just let mention our correct answer. First of all, uh, what we sold, we sold 24. And if you look closely, for factorial, this is the same as 24 from school. This is our 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, and it is equal to equal to 24. Okay, so this is like a tricky moment right here. So, uh, correct answer in our question is four factorial uh, to have a test yeah correct answer is uh, four factorial but uh, to our question correct answer is 24 so if you choose correct answer uh, four factorial you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely absolutely correct but few words about this 14 a lot of students are confused about this 14 they say okay we don't have 24 so maybe 14 is a correct answer but let, let's look closely how we solved this question before okay so right here we start with addition then we go with uh, division then subtraction if you look closely this is absolutely randomly order because addition the division subtraction this is a very chaotic order so right now let's look closely if you put parentheses right here correct answer is 14 okay extremely important part because then parentheses is a first step so then you can easily add 20 plus 20 then subtraction in the end and division before subtraction everything is great so 40 divided by 2 equal to 20 and in conclusion, we have subtraction by 6. So a correct answer with parentheses is 14. So I want to mention it, that with parentheses at this point, so I want to mention these parentheses, with parentheses right here, correct answer is 
correct answer is uh, is 14. Extremely important moment because uh, a lot of students are confused, a lot of students argue with each other. Okay, uh, correct answer is 14 with parentheses. Parentheses right here, correct answer is 14. Without parentheses, we need to respect our order of operation. So let me just uh, use this space right here, okay? So right here, uh, I want to underline this. So first of all, when you put parentheses right here, when you put brackets, correct answer will be 14, but not in our question, so it's not the happy smile right here. Happy smile we have right here because this is a correct answer to our question without parentheses. With parentheses, correct answer is 14 because we need to add it first, then we divide, then we subtract. And here's the few really important moments. So in 99% of cases, like in 100, but I want to, I don't want to group it at once. So right here we just talk about 99% of, of cases. Division and multiplication is all the time before, so this thing we need to evaluate at first, and after this we need to add or, or subtract. So multiplication division group is all the time before division and subtraction. So whenever you have a mixture of, of uh, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, so I'm not talking about parentheses, exponents, I'm talking about this basic thing. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, we need to perform multiplication division at first in a strict order from left to right and then addition and subtraction so multiplication division first addition subtraction subtraction second and you can't jump you can jump only when you have parentheses okay so in our case we have we don't have parentheses correct answer is four factorial with parentheses this is like a tricky moment tricky part in my question with parentheses correct answer is is 14 and few hints to this question because you know sometimes you plug in this question on your on your calculator and you know just try to plug in the whole question from left to right okay just try to plug in it because uh, when you plug in it from left to right your calculator see the whole question from left to right okay so let me just underline all of this stuff right here so for example imagine you have uh, this question and you plug in it on your calculator for example you do this right now Okay, and you plug in, okay, I have 20 plus 20. And you know, a lot of calculators uh, add it at first because calculator doesn't know what we have further. But if you plug in the whole question, okay, if you plug in from this side, okay, and even if you plug in this division by two and minus six, your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. And then the calculator will say, okay, I don't have parentheses. I don't have exponents. I don't have a multiplication sign. I have division, but I know that division is all the time before addition and subtraction okay so try to plug in the whole question from left to right and then the calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation addition division and subtraction and 99 per 100 percent the calculator will solve this question absolutely absolutely correct so try to plug in the whole question from left side to right side so once more here's my explanation to this question easy one but i want to show you this um step-by-step -step explanation because this is like a few seconds question i agree with it but maybe a lot of students watch my videos so this is our PEMDAS order of operation extremely important thing for example when we have 20 square we need to raise these we can't jump like this is extremely important thing in terms of math so i really hope you understand this PEMDAS order of operation i really hope you understand this uh, why division is all the time before addition subtraction i really hope you understand it i hope you understand when 14 is a correct answer with parentheses right here because a lot of students install this question from left to right and this is wrong approach but with parentheses okay if you have it you can easily use this PEMDAS order of operation and you will get 14 as a correct answer few hints to this question division multiplication mixture is all the time before addition and subtraction mixture and the correct answer is option c for factorial this is a correct answer to our to our question with parentheses correct answer is 14 and try to plug in the whole question from left to right and your calculator is smart enough to know about it and in a 100 percent of cases you will get correct answer mm, correct answer 24 not 14 because 14 is with parentheses right here so thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. You can also write your response down into the comment section. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you everyone for your for your comments, for your for your likes, for your dislikes. When you leave your response, it's the most important part for me because I try to make videos every day. Try to make really great, uh, I guess, like tricky, relaxing algebra questions. So it's not that hard. Uh, uh, on my channel, you can't see like integral, like fractions or like uh, huge powers. This is like a relaxing question for 
everyone for everyone and your age doesn't matter right here and i really hope you enjoy it i really hope you you watch this video with, with, with me like you test your algebra skills you test your your school knowledge because this is a great thing when you learn or remember something new it's it's also really great so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and thank you again for watching i really appreciate it i really appreciate when you leave, you leave your respond down into the comment section and thank you for your time have a great day and take care of yourself